Hello. My name is Scott Sveta, Director of Education for the COPD Foundation. This is lesson number two. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the COPD population screener. This is a basic question we ask the general audience, general public, five basic questions about you and your lungs. Would you like to get your lungs tested today? Please come by. If they do, this is the first thing we start with. We ask five basic questions about you and your lungs. We can hand these to the audience. We can have them fill this out themselves. Sometimes you'll find it faster at the MSU events that we actually read them the questions and select the answers. Either way is acceptable. If you have the participant fill this out on their own, we try to collect it back and score it up at the bottom here so that they don't have to and we can intervene and explain the results to the participant. So we're going to ask the question, during the past four weeks, how much of the time did you feel short of breath? Participant will select none of the time, a little of the time, some of the time, most of the time, or all the time. Each response is scored. The lower the number, the better their lung health is. The higher the number, more significant symptoms are identified, and that's obviously a poor score, the higher the number. Question number two we ask, do you ever cough up any stuff, such as mucus or phlegm? No, never. Occasionally with colds? Yes, a few days of the month. Yes, most days of the week. Or yes, every day. The third question we ask, please select the answer that best describes you in the past 12 months. I do less than I used to because of my breathing problems. Do they strongly disagree? Disagree, they're unsure, they do agree with the statement, or they strongly agree with the statement. The fourth question we asked, have you used at least 100 cigarettes in your lifetime? People will mark no, yes, or maybe. And then the fifth question assesses age. How old are you? They'll select 35 to 49, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, or 70 plus. Many times at these audiences and these uh, large community awareness events, you're going to see individuals less than 35. As long as they're older than 18, they can participate, they can fill this out, check it off to the left side over here. And it's important to know that because of age, there are much lower risks for lung disease like COPD. And the real purpose of screening is to really engage with that older community. However, we won't deter anybody from filling out and participating in the event as long as they're 18 or older. So once we get to the bottom, we're going to go ahead and put everything down here in the bottom, score it up, and then give their total score. Then we're going to let the participant know. Those individuals who score less than 5, they're in relatively good lung health. Those who score 5 or higher have more symptoms and may be at risk for COPD. It definitely warrants further medical attention. In fact, we're doing free spirometry testing today. Would you like to go back and blow into a spirometer, spirometer and measure your lung function? Those participants who agree, you'll go to the next step. I also want to bring your attention. This is a great teaching tool and a great opportunity that if somebody selects no on smoking more than 100 cigarettes in their life, let them know, congratulations, I notice you haven't used any tobacco. That's the single best thing you can do overall for lung health. The other thing you may notice somebody says yes, and you want to engage and say, I notice you've smoked more than 100 cigarettes in your life. Are you currently a tobacco user now or a former tobacco user? Let them answer the question. If they are a tobacco user currently, let them know the single most important thing they can do overall for the health is to quit tobacco. It really is the best thing they can do. And those who are former smokers say, congratulations, the single best thing you ever did for your lung health was to quit using tobacco. If you would like more information about quitting tobacco or resources, we have some information available today. All right, so this concludes lesson number two where we talk about the population screener. Again, regardless of the screener we use, this is the Drive for COPD campaign screener. There are other ones, but the important thing to remember is the questions are identical. How we score and talk about the results are identical. Thank you very much.